I'm very pleased with this. Put that aside. Now let's make the horizontal stabilizer. We'll get uh, these are the sticks I have left over. One of them is long enough to make the leading, one leading edge. Uh, and uh, I'll make the. You know, you know, it's a good idea if you have time. Try to try to find the stiffest pieces for the trailing edge of the horizontal stabilizer. That's pretty stiff. That's pretty good too. All right, so let's uh, let's do this. Again, cutting it so it's at the, the right at the proper angle, an angle where it's going to be able to meet up nicely with the other side. Putting my lining my razor blade up with the center line, and I'm going to lift it up and then slide the oh, line up line up this with uh, where it's supposed to be, and project it out a little bit, and then line up my blade with the center line, and then make sure it's 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 perpendicular this way. And oops. There we go. And then make a cut. Put the razor blade in place first. And then I'm sawing it a little bit here. And that's nice. Oh, I did cut the paper a little bit. Same with this other part piece. Oh, hey, that's where I tested the glue. Ah, it's in the way now. <laughs> All right. I think I'll put these on. All right. That's a little bit excess. A little too much glue. I can see it coming out over there. Take a piece of scrap and uh, get the excess. Move it, remove it. Ah, I think I need pins. All right. Ah, come on. All right. I'm going to cut the backs even with the leading edge of the uh, the rear stick. That's coming up there a bit. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Make sure you again. Make sure you put the glue on the right, the correct side. So I'm going to dry on this first side. Now, since I've already cut the uh, the back end of these uh, leading edge sticks um, to, to line up with the, the rear stick, I, I see that they're a little bit long, or one, this is longer than that one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to put this and uh, put this stick on. Now this glue isn't drying as quickly. I think I used too much of it. Uh, it's not drying as quickly as it did on the rudder. So instead of cutting it out right away, I'm going to start with the wing. All right, continuing on the wing. This stuff is uh, still drying. I put too much stuff on it, too much glue on it. And it's taking its It's taking its time. Uh, actually, let's not continue on the wing. I'm going to glue these uh, these joints here with the crazy glue. A little bit. So it's oh, that's a, that was a big dollop. <laughs> and then a little bit of the uh, baking soda. And swallow the dollop over here. Oh, 
that big. It got big on me. Hey, if you have have you have a little bit, of, if you put too much crazy glue on there, all right, right there, you can soak it up with the corner of a paper towel or something. All right, baking soda. Put some baking soda on there, and it hardens right away again. But I get a little bit crazy glue and baking soda on my fingers. And uh, that's a little heavy, but and up here, do the same thing, even though it's got a little bit of uh, wood glue in there. You know what? I'm going to cut that out. Oh, I forgot to put the cover back on this. Should have done that right away. Okay, let's cut off the back. Don't cut to where the uh, wing is going to be. It has to get pretty close over there. Okay. Alrighty. It's still hardening. And what'd you know what I forgot to No I didn't. I was gonna say I was hoping to leave some paper there but uh, I couldn't have because this wing's in the way. All right, I'm gonna put this aside while it hardens a little bit more. Time for the wing. One pin to hold it down a little bit. Puts a hole in there, but Now what I did was I looked for the stiffest strips for the uh, leading edges and trailing edges of the wing, but uh, I have two that are the stiffest. The rest are not so great, not as stiff. So I'm just going to use those for the leading edge. Actually, the way you, you can, if you <laughs> just realize the leading edge doesn't have to actually have to go forward on this one. All right. Now here's a here's something important. Uh, you're not going to glue that joint there or that joint there quite yet um, because uh, you won't glue it until you really you you won't set it in place until you get the dihedral angle that you want in. Uh, so this joint there and that joint there is not glued, but that joint, that joint, that joint, that joint, that that, that joint, and that joint will be glued. So I want to make sure also that I don't get too much. Uh, wood glue up there. Maybe I will use uh, the glue stick. Blade didn't go all the way through the balsa wood, but that's okay because that means it didn't go into the paper either. Try not to put too much glue on it this time.
Uh, okay, the middle stick. That will be glued straight to the fuselage, so it doesn't have to be the, the stiffest stick. So maybe if you find this, the soft stick for it. All right, this is pretty soft. And it has two angles on the, on the front of it. Although, our technique with, with using the crazy glue might work out pretty well if you don't get those two angles uh, just right. Let's try that in the back part. I'm just going to cut it straight across and then use a bunch of crazy glue there later. All right, I'm going to put this, uh, okay, I'll glue this in. stiffest ones left. Okay. I'm doing the tips a little bit different than they show in the instructions. Um, they don't show an actual glue joint between the, uh, the two parts, uh, but uh, I'm making one. do it the way they say it in, in the instructions because it might be quicker. Again, being careful not to, to put the glue on the wrong side. Come on, stay down. Put a little too much on here. It is kind of easy to put too much glue on there. Thin layer. It dries a lot faster if you put a thin layer on there. I uh, the rear joint between the two leading trailing edges right there isn't really well done. I am trying to be quick about this. It'll be well done later. Better done later. When I fill it in with the glue crazy glue. All right, to get these things so they're not popping up so much, I'm going to glue the uh, tips now. Don't glue this yet, and don't glue, don't glue that yet. And we still have to put these parts in, but don't glue these parts. Come on. There we go. Baking soda. This is Blowing my bit, blowing my bits of balsam off the table. That's gonna go there. That. Oh, uh, these won't fit with this. That'll go there. Oh, forgot to put the covers back on this. I think that's about right. Eh, not quite perfect, but I'm trying to do this. This is a little bit short, this one. So I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move its position a little bit.
So this isn't quite lined up with where it's supposed to be, but it's not going to matter that much. I think. Okay, I think I'll take this. I'll, put, I'll glue those uh, butt joints. crazy glue and uh, baking soda <laughs> debris on them <laughs> it's not coming off so it's uh, I don't want to take this dirty finger and stick it in there because it, it'll be hard to make it smooth so I've got to use another finger to uh, get the glue on the stick Using really too much CA glue in here um, for these joints. If I was trying to do a uh, really awesome job on this, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't use so much CA glue. <laughs> but uh, there we go. That's the wing. Now it might be a good idea to use rubber gloves, but with rubber gloves you don't get the same. Uh, sometimes it takes the uh, more more dexterity than than rubber gloves will allow. I think I've glued some of the crazy glue went made its way through to the cutting board, and I'm going to be careful about pulling it off. So no damage. There's the top. And right now it's bendable uh, because we didn't glue these joints. And we're going to uh, glue those joints when we glue this under the plane. What I'm doing now is I just feel the need to put a, uh, a sharper crease in there. There. Ah, it's not too bad. Taking the leading edge excess off. The razor blade is going toward me, toward my torso. And that's usually not bad, except that that's usually not a good idea. <laughs> except that I'm not pushing very hard on it right now. But if you find yourself pushing the razor blade toward you, you should be thinking, um, you know, something. What if, what if something goes wrong? You know what? It might be easier to do this like this. I've been doing this, doing it like this. This is the way I do it. For years I've been doing that. It might be easier just to run the, the blade along the leading edge. Try not to cut through the... See how I did that again? I kind of gesticulated and I brought the uh, blade toward my finger. Try not to cut through, get off course, and cut through the balsa wood when you're cutting across like this. Let's see how this goes. That's not bad. There's some leading excess uh, if we're in a hurry. You don't have to bother with that. Okay, wing, tail. I haven't done this on the tail yet. I'll have to do that, do that on the tail. That's poking out, so I'm going to cut that, that wood off. Poking out here, I'm going to cut it off there. And we'll slice the uh, paper off the edges. I 
Right. It's always nice to put the parts together and look at it and see what you what it's going to look like when you really get them together. Nice. Oops. Got these tips.